Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about underwear and in particular sustainable underwear because I get so many questions on yeah, it's all well and good thrifting for secondhand clothes, but in terms of underwear, have you got any recommendations for brands that are more sustainable than conventional bras and underwear brands? And yes, I have. Yes, I have. Lara Intimates kindly provided the bra for me to show to you guys in this video, but it's not a sponsored video, as you know, I'm not being paid to say anything. Um, I'm just really passionate about the brand. They're really, really cool. I think they started on Kickstarter actually. Um, but they're a really cool small business. But a little bit about me and my bra history. I absolutely hated bras growing up. Like if you knew Becky, you knew that she did not like bras. I'll come into school, come into sick form, not wearing a bra, which is like <laughs> questionable, I guess, um, in terms of, you know, wearing blouses and shirts. Sometimes I'd walk into the common room and my friends would be like, Becky, are you wearing a bra? <laughs> I'd say, no, I'm not, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I didn't wear a bra a lot of the time because I just found them so uncomfortable. And my friends would say to me, well, you're probably wearing the wrong size. Well, I was fitted twice at M&S um, and still uncomfortable. I tried underwire, I tried non-underwire and I just wasn't a fan. I'd kind of given up hope with bras in general. I just thought, you know what, I'm not going to wear one. I've got small boobs, I can get away with it. Um, but sometimes you do want a bra for a little bit of support and um, maybe if you don't want things showing, you need a bra, that's kind of what they're for. But saying all that, I've got a really comfy bra to show you today. So this is the style that I've got from Lara Intimates and this is the Clio bra. I'll put all of the details down below, you know, like their website and their information and the bra that I've got and my size and so on and so forth. So if you want to look at that, that will be down below. A little bit about the brand themselves, they are based in Soho, so they make all of their pieces in-house and their studio is above a bar. Um, in central and it's so cool it's really really nicely laid out I was lucky enough to go there and get fitted but you don't need to go in and get fitted yourself you can just find your size yourself I will show you how to do that in a moment um, and just type it in they've got a tool online which is really really handy but yeah they make all of their pieces in-house and the actual material they use are offcuts from big fancy lingerie brands which otherwise would just go in they would just be scraps and go into landfill so they use they use materials that would otherwise be thrown away which I think is really really cool and also it means when you're buying their product it means you're getting the quality of material of a fancy of a big fancy lingerie brand um, but you know it's more sustainable and um, it's a small business um, which I think is just it's an amazing idea a really amazing idea honestly I have a lot of admiration for the brand and the girls who run it and moving on to actually finding your size yourself so as I say this is the Clio bra should I put this on top of my top I don't know if this is going to work yeah it's not a great look but it's, it is what it is -na 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 -na. so yeah this is what it looks like obviously imagine the shirt not on underneath so to find your size their sizing slightly differs well actually massively differs to conventional bra sizing but it makes a lot more sense so first of all what you've got to do is find your underbust in inches so get get a tape measure and basically measure underneath your boobs and then type that in they've got to find your bra tool on their website i'll link that down below as well um but yeah measure that part and then measure your bust so that's your actual boob area get a tape measure and measure this bit here um type that in and it will tell you what size you are in their bras it's really that simple um, and just a little tidbit for you I was wearing a 34B and this bra is a 30 D, and it honestly fits like a glove I mean it probably looks a bit strange now because obviously I've got a shirt on underneath but it fits so well like I could happily go out like this and be really comfortable maybe not aesthetic wise but you know comfort level physical comfort level I would be fine and um, I'm, I'm buzzing because as I say I've, my history with bras is not great I am going to take this off now though because I mean it's a look but it's not quite my style. <laughs> so yeah that really is how easy it is to find your bra size. It is very very straightforward. I didn't actually have to physically go into their studio. It was just because I was in Central at the time and I could have easily done it myself but it was really interesting to see how they make the pieces and they actually cut out so they use sustainable materials but they cut out the pieces in a way that uses minimal scraps so like kind of like tessellating shapes if you know what I mean um, and then any scraps that are that do come from the production of the pieces are put, is it like put aside and that's going to go into a new garment in the future so very sustainable as a brand they're very sustainable and if you can't currently find your size if you type in your measurements and they don't carry your size yet I know they're trying to expand their line um, so please don't feel excluded or discriminated against if they don't yet carry your size 
Um, they are, I think, I think they are working on bigger sizes. It's just finding the um, right templates, I guess, and you know, working out how they're going to produce them. Um, but they're a very, very new business, so please bear that in mind. Um, they do carry one underwire style. If you're a bigger boob gal, I mean, I hate underwire with a passion, with a burning passion. But I respect that some people, you know, need the support or want the support. So that that is an option for you. They are slightly more expensive as a brand. The, the the pieces are more expensive you know sustainable fashion is more expensive because you're not cutting corners you're doing things sustainably and um, you're doing what you're supposed to do you know you're paying your workers the the right amount of money therefore there are more upfront costs and therefore the product is more expensive so I completely understand it is an investment but I 100% think it's worth it like I, I can't wait to get my hands on a lighter color because obviously I can't wear black underneath everything but yeah, any other details that I have missed, I will leave down below. If you're interested, then do check it out. Check out their website and yeah, send them some love on Instagram as well because they, they're really, really sweet gals. I hope this was useful and I hope if you've been looking for a sustainable underwear brand to invest in, I hope you found one. I hope you found one. I hope you find your perfect fit. I'm sure you will. It's very, very straightforward. Um, and that's coming from an absolute rookie. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely day and hopefully I shall see you very soon. Bye!